Bonjour, Natalie here. Welcome to Franco Foods. Today, I was in the mood for making cookies to go with my café au lait. So, I'm baking sable breton or French butter cookies. Now, I've never made these before, but I do make Scottish shortbread regularly. So, I figure they can't be all that different, right? I started preparing my ingredients about an hour ahead of time because the butter and the eggs need to be room temperature. One thing I've come to appreciate is that it's easier to separate eggs when they're room temperature. Most recipes, at least on a general basis, that call for butter call for unsalted butter. However, sable cookies do call for salted butter. I realize you might not have salted butter on hand, so you could always use unsalted butter and add a pinch of salt to the dry ingredients before you blend them in with the butter. So where do sable breton come from? Well, sable, as they're more commonly called, were first made in 1670 in an area called Sable-sur-Sarthe. Sable-sur-Sarthe is located in the Loire region of France. According to stories, the cookies were named sable in honor of the Marquise de Sable. Also, sable means sandy. Sable is the word sand, which is fortuitous because really the cookie does have a crumbly, sandy texture. Regardless if the origin story is true or not, the name really does fit. Okay, so cream the mixture until it is light and fluffy. It's looking good. So now I'm gonna mix in the yolks one at a time until they're incorporated. Okay, I finished mixing the dough. It's rather crumbly, so I'm gonna gently knead it to make sure it's all together before I can go ahead and roll it. Whoa, that's really sticky. I don't dare add any more flour because the cookie is supposed to be light and crumbly and I don't want it to be dry either. That said, the dough is very soft, so to help with the cutting of the cookies, I'm gonna refrigerate this for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, let's see how it is. No, it's still very soft and sticky. Oh boy, it's sticking to the paper, so I'm going to use a spatula to be able to put it on the cookie sheet. I'm trying to have the cookie keep its nice round shape. Uh, I'm being successful to varying degrees. <sighs> For crying out loud, you'd think I've never baked before. Finally, they're done. <laughs> I'm done cutting out my cookies. Time to bake them. I sure hope these cookies taste amazing after all this. Today's vocab is la cuillère, la fourchette, le couteau, j'ai faim, nous allons au restaurant. Okay. The cookies are baked and cooled. My café au lait is nice and hot. Time to dig in. <laughs> Not much of a snap. Well, let's see how it tastes. That's the most important part. Hmm. It has a nice buttery flavor, but it's not quite as sweet as I was hoping and uh, definitely doesn't have much of a crunch. I wonder if it's because the recipe uses powdered sugar instead of granulated. It goes nicely with the coffee, but honestly, it's not what I had hoped for. Oh well, c'est la vie. As they say, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so, eh well, until next time. Merci et à la prochaine.